Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into a slideshow of pictures here. This picture right here is the basic, the, as basic as I can get it. Um, you have a 12 volt current DC. You have a little resistor right here, R, labeled R1. That resistor is the Peltier unit that I'm going to be using. Uh, when I bought it on eBay, it said it was rated at 136.8 watts for a 12 point, a 12 volt circuit. Doing the calculations, I figured out what the resistance of this unit would be. It's about 0.95 ohms, if everything's correct. I haven't actually tested it, but let's just run with a theory right now, based on this assumption. This right here is another circuit that I might actually also do. It's, I'm going to show you step by step how these two circuits are equivalent to, in, to one another. We have four Peltier units in this one. Uh, each one of them is the same, the same type, the same wattage, the same resistance, all that jazz. Um, as you can see, I have two in, two pairs that are in parallel to each other. Each pair is in series with each other. Um, here's another picture. I'm going to slowly go through you how to calculate all this. Um, on the top row of Peltier units, you can see here, you can add the resistance, 0.95 plus 0.95 is equal to 1.9 ohms. Um, the second row, you do the exact same thing. Um, 2 times 0.95 is 1.9 ohms. That's for series circuits, because these resistors are in series with each other in the, in the little ellipse right there that part that I have circled. Now we can simplify this and say that the on the on the right side of this picture here you see R I have something level labeled R A and R B. <coughs> R A is 1.9 ohms just like we calculated a second ago and the same thing with R B. To calculate the resistance in parallel use this formula right here. The total resistance is equal to 1 over the fraction of 1 over RA plus 1 over RB. Therefore, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 1.9 plus 1 over 1.9. Uh, so what's going to happen is you get RT is equal to 2 over 1.9. 1 over RT is equal to 2 over 1.9, so therefore the total resistance of the circuit is 1.9 divided by 2, which is 0.95 ohms. If you'll remember, that 0.9 ohm, 0.95 ohms sounds familiar because it's the exact same resistance as the original circuit I designed. Now, why would I do this? Why would I make four of these resistors <coughs> like this as opposed to just one? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stack these Peltier units on top of each other to create a bigger distance between the hot side and the cold side of the stack. Um, here's your Peltier unit. It looks something like this. Uh, I just did this in Microsoft Paint. Excuse the, you know, amateurity of this, but this is what I got. Uh, let's say we stick two of them in parallel. So we stick one on top of another and wire them together. So now we have two thermoelectric units wired in parallel. The total resistance of that is going to be 0.475 ohms in total. Alright? So say we take this and we double it again, except this time we're going to put the two pairs in series with each other. Now the total resistance, just like we calculated a while back, is 0.95 ohms. This is four thermoelectric units stacked on top of each other. Um, two of them in parallel, two of them in series. That way the total resistance is still the same as the original one thermoelectric unit. My big question though is will the temperature differential be the same? Because I'm running different voltages through them because of voltage drop when you put them in series and different amperages in them because of an amperage drop whenever you put them in parallel. So each one of these individually on this 
stack will not be producing as much as the original one just by itself. But I have a theory that says because of the Seebeck effect, I'm going to be pumping heat through them in the same direction that they're trying to pump heat. So there's not going to really be a lot of work done by these two sandwiched in the middle of the first one and the last one. It's kind of like turning on your ceiling fan and then taking your arm and pushing the fan blade along with it. So there's resistance, there, there's current going through it, but there's not a lot of resistance because there's not a lot of a load. My theory, my, this is just a theory, I want any kind of electricians to, to correct me on this if I'm wrong. My theory is that the temperature differential between the top of the top plate and the bottom of the bottom plate is going to be the same exact temperature differential as it would be if I were just using one thermoelectric unit. I could be completely wrong. I, could, I might be very completely wrong, but I'm hoping that it will. Now, once again, why would I be doing this? Why would I be stacking four like this instead of just using one? What I'm trying to do is create a bigger space difference between the top of the hot and the bottom of the cold so that the hot and the cold temperatures don't interfere with each other so much and start canceling out. I'm trying to just simply pump as much temperature away from the top and the bottom as I can, as far away as I can, so that they don't interact with each other. Now, the, the, plates, the surfaces of the plates are made of ceramic, which are insulators, which is great, but I'm going to be using um, heat sinks that are probably, you know, bigger than the Peltier units themselves, so they could wind up interfering with each other. What I'm also going to do is stick some some caulking or some silicon, some kind of an, a thermal insulator around the edges, the four sides of this stack, so that there's a big space between the hot and the cold parts of this stack. And um, the only part that the hot touches is a heat sink, and the only part that the cold touches is a cold sink, or a heat sink that's sinking cold temperature through the air. And um, this is all just a theory. I've thought all of this up while I was just washing dishes at work the other night and came up with these pictures um, late last night. And um, I really, really hope it works. I'm going to see if I can talk to Dan Rojas. I don't know if he's going to help me. I'm sure he's a busy man, but I would really, really love to know if this is a beneficial idea or not. And um, if nobody answers me, I'm going to figure it out by my goddamn self. And that's it for today.